Ninth English Solutions Poem Chapter 1 Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening Warm-up Question 1 Have you ever traveled through a forest? How did you feel? Answer Yes Recently, I had an opportunity to pass by a dense forest at the outskirts of my native place. I wanted to have a feel of it and so I entered a few meters into the forest. The silence and the darkness was both comforting and disturbing at the same time. Question 2. Did you have any time to stop and enjoy the beauty of the forest? Answer. I was on my way to hometown. Even though, I didn't have much time to stop by the forest, I enjoyed the limitless beauty for a moment. When I entered into the forest, the long-grown trees made a canopy over my head. The leaves almost covered the sky. The gentle breeze spread the refreshing smell of damp soil. Every now and then there was a sound of birds chirping. I left the forest soon but it was an unforgettable experience. Textual Questions B. Read the following lines and answer the following questions. 1. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. Question A. Who does he refer to? Answer. He refers to the owner of the woods. Question B. Identify the season with these lines. Answer. It is winter season. 2. My little horse must think it queer. To stop without a farmhouse near question A. Who is the speaker? Answer. The poet Robert Frost is the speaker. Question B. Why should the horse think it queer? Answer. There is no farmhouse near and it is night time. The woods are dark. So the horse might think it strange to stop there. Question C. Pick out the rhyming words. Answer. Queer. Near. 3. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. Question A. Whom does he refer to in these lines? Answer. He refers to the horse. Question B. Why does he give his harness bells a shake? Answer. He shakes the harness bells as if he is asking the poet whether there was any mistake in stopping at the wrong place. Question C. How does the horse communicate with the poet? Answer. The horse communicates with the poet by shaking his harness bells. 4. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. Question A. How are the woods? Answer. The woods are lovely, dark and dense. Question B. Who does I refer to? Answer. I refers to the poet. Robert Frost. Question C. What are the promises the speaker is talking about? Answer. Duties and responsibilities in life are referred to as promises. 5. And miles to go before I sleep, and miles to go before I sleep. Question A. Why the poet has used the same line twice? Answer. In order to emphasize the fact that he has to fulfill his duties and responsibilities before his death, the poet has used the same line twice. Question B. Explain miles to go before I sleep. Answer. Miles to go refers to leading the rest of his life until his death. Ninth English Solutions. Poem. Chapter 2. A Poison Tree. Warm up. A. Choose the option that suits your own behavior in the given situations. Compare your answers with a partner's answers. You can do the activity yourself. 1. You overhear a friend talking badly about you. How angry does that make you feel? I don't feel angry at all. I feel moderately angry. I feel slightly annoyed. I feel very angry. I feel a little angry. I feel furious. 2. Your friend persuades you to take help to prepare for the maths board examination from a close friend. That person does not turn up at all, as agreed. How angry does that make you feel? I don't feel angry at all. I feel moderately angry. I feel slightly annoyed. I feel very angry. I feel a little angry. I feel furious. 
3. You have agreed to pick up some friends at the train station. They are coming to stay with you for a few days. You've arranged with your elder brother, sister to drive the car for the day. You are about to leave the house when you realize the car is outside but your brother, sister has gone to work, taking the keys. How angry does that make you feel? I don't feel angry at all. One feel moderately angry. I feel slightly annoyed. I feel very angry. I feel a little angry. I feel furious. 4. During a get-together, your friend makes fun of your singing in front of your friends. You thought your singing was fine, but your friend thinks you really need to practice much more. How angry does that make you feel? I don't feel angry at all. I feel moderately angry. I feel slightly annoyed. I feel very angry. I feel a little angry. I feel furious. B. Answer the following questions. Share your views with the class. Question 1. Do you are you often with your classmate? Answer. I do are you but not regarding personal matters and my arguments get over very soon. Question 2. Do you forgive them or choose to remain enemies forever? Answer. Not instant forgiveness, it stays for some time. How long we remain enemies depends on the friend and the issue. Question 3. How long does your anger last? Answer. My anger lasts for an hour roughly. Textual questions. A. Answer the following questions in a sentence or two. 1. I was angry with my friend I told my wrath, my wrath did end. Question A. Who does I refer to? Answer. I refers to the poet, William Blake. Question B. How did the anger of poet come to an end? Answer. The poet told the reason of his anger to his friend. The anger came to an end. Ninth English Solutions. Poem. Chapter 3. On Killing a Tree. Warm Up. Question 1. What is a tree? Answer. A tree is a tall plant that has a wooden trunk with branches, leaves, flowers and fruits. Question 2. Why trees are important for our survival? Answer. Trees are important for our survival because it is the primary source of oxygen we breathe. Apart from that, various parts of a tree are used in making things that we use in our day-to-day -day lives. Question 3. How long does it take a tree to grow to its full size? Answer. It takes around 7 to 10 years and more for a tree to attain its full size. Question 4. How much time does it take to cut down a tree? Answer. With modern equipments a tree can be cut down within an hour. Textual questions. A. Memorize the first two stanzas of the poem. B. Read the following lines from the poem and answer the questions in a sentence or two. 1. It takes much time to kill a tree, not a simple job of the knife. Will do it. Question 1. Can a simple job of the knife kill a tree? Answer. No. Question 2. Why does it take much time to kill a tree? Answer. It takes much time to kill a tree as it has grown strong all through the years. 2. It has grown slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust, absorbing question 1. How has the tree grown? Answer. The tree has grown slowly consuming the earth, rising out of it, feeding upon its crust. Question 2. What does the tree feed from the crust? Answer. The tree feeds sunlight, air, water from the crust. 3. And out of its leprous hide sprouting leaves. Question 1. What does the phrase, leprous hide, mean? Answer. Leprous hide, means the discolored bark of the tree. Question 2. What comes out of the leprous hide? 
Answer, sprouting leaves come out of the leprous hide. 4. The bleeding bark will heal and from close to the ground. Will rise curled green twigs, miniature boughs question 1. What will happen to the bleeding bark? Answer, the bleeding bark will heal. Question 2. What will rise from close to the ground? Answer, curled green twigs and miniature boughs will rise from close to the ground. 5. The root is to be pulled out one of the anchoring earth. Question 1. Why should the root be pulled out? Answer, the root should be pulled out to kill the tree. Question 2. What does anchoring earth mean? Answer, anchoring earth means that the roots fixed to the earth strongly like an anchor.